Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with After the Last Airbender book 2 episode number 19 and 20 and these two are the final episodes of book 2 or season 2. So the previous two episodes um quite a few stuff happened. First of all we got Appa back which is the biggest thing you know um, Zuko we had a whole thing with Zuko where Zuko got to know that uh, Aang is here and Iroh kind of gave him a scolding and told him to actually look at what he's doing and like you know uh, decide for himself whether what he is doing is really that important or not and like you know make his own path not like you know not f f go flowing in the destiny which someone else had set up set up for him that was that and uh, Zuko is now kind of getting a little conflicted he's getting like fever and stuff for that because of that and um, then we met the king of the earth kingdom and uh, he seems like a pretty nice guy unfortunately he has been left in the dark for quite a while by long feng and even after he got arrested by the end he still is planning to do something uh, the dai li is still loyal to him and yeah he's going to do something about i don't know what he's going to do and then in the end we get to see that our crew has been separated you know azula came in in disguise and uh, ang and saka are off towards chameleon bay where i don't know what's going to happen to them Toph has been captured and it's completely i don't know like everything got completely um uh, what to say you know like kind of got complicated by the end of it so let's see what this episode brings so without further ado let's get started this is episode number 19 of avatar the last airbender book 2 so i'll be putting the subtitles and the time right here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right so here's the countdown three two one go okay oh boy Like, it's not only like you're fighting against the Fire Nation, but at the same time, the whole thing with uh, Long Feng is also kind of a problem. Oh boy. Alright. Okay, I'll put this out. Uh. Okay, let's see what happens. I don't know. Obviously, the, uh, the whole thing is a trap, but I'm kind of unable to understand who made this trap. Like Azula getting it, I doubt it was done by Long Feng. That is something that they did. So then is the uh, letter from Chameleon Bay, is that fake? Is that done by the Dai Li or was it something? I don't know. Let's see. Okay. The Guru. Okay. Hmm. All right, Zuko's fine, I think. Juk wouldn't like it. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, I think his inner conflict is has reduced. Um okay it seems calm enough so, okay is this a trap or this is real what <laughs> just <laughs> okay no, don't go. Oh my god. We don't even know if this is a trap or not. Okay, maybe not. 
Okay, it is not a trap. Okay, there you go. It's not a trap. Nice. Okay, so this is... So... Okay, I thought there was a trap to actually separate them, you know? Father. Okay, so that's the dad. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, right. They'll protect you. <laughs> Bosco. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Oh my god, no, don't. Don't, d why? Oh my god. Oh. He trusts people too much, the king. Oh, Momo. Yeah. <laughs> Why is this so serious? I guess it is kind of like a serious thing, but still, calm down. <laughs> All right. Oh, uh, there he is. <laughs> oh Okay What? Onion and banana juice? Onion juice? Oh my god, I don't even... Like, banana juice is okay, I guess, but onion juice? <laughs> oh my god, these people. <laughs> oh, great. Um <laughs> Wait. Will she like Oh my god. Yeah, and then they're in. Like, this easily. Hmm. Oh, great. Yeah. Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> it's the uh, as far as I know it's something like uh I don't know. Okay, okay. Like, there are like seven of- seven? Seven, I think. 
like one well, starts from the head and goes up into the spine i think i'm, I'm not sure okay it gets murky and yeah all right all right there you go seven chakras like from the head to your i think spine tail tailbone okay Earth. There you go. Survival blocked by fear. Oh. Oh, oh my God. Whoa, what? Wait, who's that? Okay. Oh, that's uh, Zuko, wasn't it? All right. Oh, this is going to take a while, you know, like it's not easy doing this. <laughs> Pleasure bought by guilt. Okay. Oh yeah, the stealing and she hurt Katara as well once as far as I remember. Um, you know? Oh no, this is something different. Oh, Oh yeah, this one, okay. Okay. Okay, acceptance and forgiveness. It was yourself. Okay. <sighs> Dangle mines. <laughs> oh, yeah. Skunk fish. Oh, my God. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, let's stink and sink them, you know? Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> was not expecting that. But he is, he is like, uh, experienced now. Oh, this is his tea shop? Wow, it looks nice. Wow. Look at this place. Yeah. <laughs> it's first time he's actually hugging him, I think, isn't it? Yeah. yeah he really changed. <laughs> Fire chakra. Okay. <laughs> Shame. 
Oh, oh, this is the shame. Okay. Not guilt, but shame. Okay. I thought this was going to be guilt. Oh, no. Yeah, acceptance. And forgiveness. All right. <laughs> oh no. Eh? Did he? <laughs> he added pickles. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, who was Yeah right. <laughs> this is Dali, yeah. Um Yeah, these are the Dali. Okay, so Oh my god. Okay. Art. Blocked by grief. Uh, the whole incident with Appa will be there, I'm sure of it. Oh, this as well. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Hmm. New love. Ah, oh, guitar. <laughs> They're changing the location. I can see that. Truth blocked by lies. Oh. Oh. Okay. Light. Okay. Huh. Illusion of separation. Oh. Illusion of separateness, yeah. Oh, interesting. Whoa, is that tough? Yeah. Oh my god, here we go. So she can metal bend now? Whoa! And as Guru Patik is saying, like, and everything is the same. That's why even if Toph is an air, uh, earthbender, he can do that. She can do that. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Is she going to do? Oh no. 
Okay, Katara, calm down. Wait. Okay, I thought she was going to like make a scene or something. But all right. At will. But there's one thing you should you should not die in the avatar state. Thought. Earthly attachment. Wow. Yeah, obviously Katara's there. Um Oh no. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no. Ah, oh my god, this is a mess. This is a mess. She she even knows that Zuko's here. Go, Momo, go. Yeah, I, th I thought that Aang won't be able to do that. Like... Wow. I don't know. I think he won't be able to do it by the end of it. All right, let's see. Oh. Okay, there you go. Yeah, he won't be able to do that. Oh my god. See worldly attachments. They oh boy. He'll become stronger without that. I hopefully. I'm sure he can win without the after state, but there will be <laughs> Yeah, right. Only the one to drink. <laughs> nice. Now, seal them in. There you go. <laughs> wow. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Okay. Oh, Appa's here. Yeah. Okay, this. 
Oh god. <laughs> the acting, this girl. Wow, she's <laughs> this girl. This girl is formidable. <laughs> oh, my God. This is cunning. Oh no. Oh great. Oh boy. Things are going to go down bad. This girl, what is. <laughs> <They can't... laughs> okay, um, alright, so. That was uh, that episode. I, I think this is like a one uh, not one but two episode yeah this is two episode uh, all at the same time i think this is like a special episode when it uh, released on television so that's why it's kind of like this so yeah that was the end of episode 90 now i'm going to talk about it and then i'm going to um like start the next and the final episode of this season so okay one thing um <clears throat> Okay guys, I was checking something actually. Um, I was trying to check out like one thing that kind of like, you know, like I found, uh, not found, but I thought about it. I'm not sure if that's like, you know, is correct or not, but I kind of think like, you no, know, uh, Pathik, Guru Pathik. He, uh, there's two things that kind of struck me. The first thing is his accent. It's, it's an Indian accent, you know, the English that he was speaking. I, I think so. And also another thing is his name, you know, Pathik uh, in, hindi and bengali which are both like you know the languages we speak in uh, india uh pathik means uh what can i say someone who walks on a path you know like path or means a uh, path and path ik means someone who walks on it so pathik so that's how like you know i kind of like you know i'm i was i was trying to find out in his wiki page where if there's something written or not if he like, you know if there's some kind of uh information that he's from india or whatnot but i wasn't able to find it it was not mentioned but i feel like that it is something like that i'm not sure of it you know and um he like you know like this, this is, the, is the thing that really struck me is his name it, it is an indian name patik and yeah so it you know it kind of i don't know like this this guy is obviously like you know a guru uh, someone who is a teacher and he is teaching ang about the chakras you know that we have the seven chakras and he obviously like you know like if you if you master that uh, you will have to let go of your earthly uh, bindings and like one of the biggest earthly bind that uh like you know thing that is binding ang to the like you know to the mortal world is katara and i i was knew i i knew it that he probably won't be able to give up on that and i think he's probably going to make a decision later on where he's going to you know not probably not use the afta state and uh, try to find a way where he himself gets strong enough to win the battles without going into the Avatar state. Because this is like a thing he thought that he was going to be able to go in and out of Avatar state at will. And he's going to use that uh, in the battle. But yeah, I think it's like, you know, like it's actually better this way because uh as we know like you know like ang probably like, you know won't be able to give up on katara that's one thing that i was quite sure about and yeah that's what we saw by the end of it so okay so this episode here first of all one thing that got cleared out i thought that the whole thing with the chameleon bay was a trap or something but it was not it was a genuine thing so they went you know uh saka went there and there was you know he met his dad his dad is just like him <laughs> <laughs> kind of a, a jokester 
Oh boy. And then, you know, that was that. And then we see Aang go to the Guru. <clears throat> so, it was really nice to see this whole chakra thing. They kind of explained it properly. I kind of knew about it, but it was something that I kind of knew about it from the top. Nothing much about it. I did not know the whole thing of like, you know, the different uh, distinction that they did. The whole uh, earth, uh, water, fire, you know, like, and then uh, there's some, a few other, like, you know, the, the things that he said, light, you know, these chakras. And I didn't know the more, like, you know, I kind of knew about it from the top. Nothing much. I didn't know much about it. So it was kind of nice to see them actually kind of explain about it in a brief way. And it kind of feels like here that they, I don't know, like they were able to do this very quickly. But I feel like it kind of took a few days to for them to, like not them, but Ang to actually master it. Because, you know, like opening a chakras is one of the most difficult things. Like imagine, like, you know, letting go of everything, all your, um, you know, things that kind of bind you to the, to the earth. For example, your guilt. Um, you know all the things that he said your uh, uh, what did he say like sorrow and stuff like that you know shame these things and letting imagine letting go of them is really difficult actually so yeah but Aang was probably able to do it little by little and these you know these I don't know whether this will help him in the future or not. It will surely help him because he's going to become a lot more calm, cool. and But unfortunately, by the at the end, almost at the end, he was not able to give up on Katara. You know, that was the one thing that kind of stopped him in his tracks. <coughs> and, you know, and that's what he, like, you know, Guru Pathik was saying, that these are all your earthly uh, things that bind you to the earth. Uh, let go of them don't get these into these type of attachments it'll bind you down and that's what happened in the end as we saw as soon as he realized that katara is danger you know he he rushed to that so like this is the this is kind of like the whole thing about like you know uh, becoming someone who is uh like you know like just like guru patik you know people who let go of everything and who become kind of like an enlightened, you know, person by, like, you know, going through these steps, uh, they, like, you know, they kind of become, uh, what can I say? Um, not bound by the earthly, uh, like, you know, everything, like, you know, earthly things. And they kind of become a person like that. And that's how they can be neutral completely, you know? You know they become completely neutral and that is the biggest thing that is needed for um like you know uh for saviors especially people who say for example ang here is like a savior and like he needs to become neutral because he is going to save everyone even the enemies so he needs to let go of them the anger and everything but as we see the whole, as, as soon as he realized that Katara is danger, he rushed uh, to Katara's help. This shows that he's not neutral. He has a preference for someone. So, like, you know, if, if a situation happens where something dangerous is happening, like, you know, if, if there's like some day you need to choose that, yeah, there's like, a, you know, a scale where one side is Katara and another side is some kind of dangerous thing happening. He's going to obviously prefer and choose Katara over the other thing. And that's how it makes him not neutral. He, he's biased towards something, someone. Like, this is just an, a little example. The things that he gave up before, you know, for example, the guilt, you know, that uh, this, uh, I think the shame, yeah, the shame, uh, the anger as well, I think I can't remember, you know, these type of things. For example, let's just take anger. You know, like what like anger brings, I'm, I'm, I think you can say that anger means revenge, you know, so that's how always like, you know, people who are obsessed on revenge, they always give preference to something uh, which is related to the revenge without and forget about everything else. For example, Zuko, you know, uh, kind of in a way you can call that like Zuko, not revenge, but Zuko is more about duty and pride, I guess, in a way. 
so like you know that's why like like giving these type of things away away you know kind of giving them away makes you more uh, neutral and more what can i say um like like these type of things won't affect you that's what i'm trying to say i'm i'm, I'm not able to explain it properly i think but i can kind of understand what they were trying to say here you know this whole episode and what guru patik was actually telling ang to do like you know he like we saw him like in the end he was repeatedly saying that ang give out uh, like you know, give up your earthly uh, bindings give them up you know you won't be able to reach there otherwise and he was almost able to reach there but in the end katara kind of <laughs> you know was the reason that he wasn't able to go that far and he backed down from it and i think that is kind of uh, what can i say um Mm, a good decision you know because the main thing about ang is his friends and you know loved ones so if he gives them away obviously he'll be able to become more strong but i don't know i i i i like you know like i don't i wouldn't probably prefer that ang over the ang that we have now you know so yeah he gave away all the other things you know a lot of things would probably help him a lot in the long run for example the whole um you know the guilt thing uh where you know where he kind of got a vision of him feeling i think guilt over leaving the air temple you know that kind of hindered him a lot all this time before you know he kind of got hindered by it so he gave that away that's going to help him in the long run a lot and a few other things as well which is going to help him in the long run but even though like you know like this was also like an earthly binding katara was also an earthly binding to him I wouldn't want him to give that away as well. I I prefer the ang that we are seeing now than to the ang that we would have probably gotten, you know. So yeah, like I guess. But ang needs to then that means ang needs to like li- really become stronger in a different way to, you know. Uh, to do for the battle for the main battle. and okay that was that and then there's this whole thing of toff toff started to learn um not started but she was able to learn metal bending and since she is a master earth bender obviously she was able to easily do it because metal is also i'm guessing uh, a part of and they kind of explained that that like metal is also part of earth so yeah and <clears throat> that was that and okay what else um okay and then <laughs> wow then comes the next scene where katara realizes that zuko and airo is here and she th- thinks that yeah like the earth kingdom is here they're going to uh, be trouble and <laughs> she goes and reports that to azula oh my god <laughs> oh and yeah she gets captured Okay so then one thing oh my god Azula is ah uh, such a cunning character like <laughs> I'm really impressed by the way she's doing stuff you know uh for example um what she does here is she actually is making <laughs> long feng uh I think that was his name yeah uh think that he's controlling Azula <laughs> was Azula is actually controlling him and you know by making it feel as if he is controlling Azula con- like you know ironically Azula will be able to control uh, Long Feng a lot better you know than if he if she straightforwardly told him that yeah and it will probably also help it here in the long run as well i don't know how but you know like it will probably like you know like like it's as if like she is making use of long feng for her plan whereas long feng is thinking that i'm doing everything for my plan so it's kind of a weird situation <laughs> like she could have just went you know she could have just went there and told long feng about it but i guess um you know Uh, you know what i think the reason why she probably did not do that is go directly to long fen and say that yeah i'm going to help you uh, let's get this like you know um, like you know to i will help you to overthrow the king if he she said something like that i think the biggest problem would be that 
I don't know, like Long Feng would know. Like, oh, okay, nah, nah, nah. I think the biggest problem would be that Long Feng would be a lot more guarded. Because Long Feng would also know that Azula plans on exploiting them as well. So by making this like this and it, it making it feel as if Long Feng is controlling her, I think she's kind of trying to um you know make him more overconfident and mess up i don't know like you know like i think it's like some kind of huge psychological thing going on <laughs> i'm probably not able to pinpoint what she's trying to do but she's basically uh, you know kind of trying to use him by making it feel as if he's using her and i'm guessing that would probably make him lower his guard i think that's the main point you know he's she's probably trying to make him lower his guard so that after everything goes well i'm sure the Dai Li would like like try to stop azula to, act, to actually gain the upper hand because they're the fire kingdom you know so most probably she's kind of acting as a hostage because she she's making them like you know giving uh long feng the reins and she because she wants him to lower his guard so that later on after everything goes well she's able to you know betray him and backstab him and do something about uh ba Sing Se. i don't know most probably this is some kind of a grand scheme or something and not only that uh, azula's also like you know uh, has invited I'm, I'm sure that was azula azula's tricks she invited uh, uh zuko into the and i go into the uh in front of the king so everything's going to go go down in the next episode let's see what happens so yeah so without further ado um let's get started this is episode number 20 the final episode of after the last airbender book two so yeah i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right so here's the countdown three two one okay so as i said uh it's, it's kind of like continuing so be sure to sync the video properly if you're using you know the timer all right <laughs> um what the oh it's off <laughs> Oh my god. Oh great. Wow. Okay. <laughs> My God, what is happening? Yeah. <clears throat> Oh boy. Wait, you did. I... Okay. Yeah. <laughs> What's Dove doing? Oh, I think she's. Uh, she doesn't have the. Uh. What do you call that? The thing to sit on. So that's why she's afraid of falling. <clears throat> oh no, is this really a trap? Yeah, oh great. I kind of thought that maybe it was not a trap, but it is. <clears throat> yeah. I 
ayro oh <laughs> whoa <laughs> there you go the dragon come on yes <laughs> oh my god oh my god those are nah he, he wants yeah he wants to fight azula oh boy yeah come on yeah oh boy yeah oh no okay at least oh god no he's still letting everything oh, he's still leaving everything to his oh my god I don't think so. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, Zuko's here. <laughs> Qatar is like, what's happening here? Wow, it's all minerals. Okay, Momo's here, thank god. Come on, Momo. It would have been good if Momo could talk, you know. <laughs> Momo, give give a sign or something. Oh god. Um what? Oh <laughs> Okay. Calm down. <laughs> Tea and good advice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. Saka! Okay, Saka, calm down. Oh. Who? Who's this? Wait, who's this? Oh, that guy. Okay, he just gave everything away like that. Yeah, right. It's gonna get your you next. These guys are playing with fire, literally. <laughs> Yeah, kind of. It is the Fire Nation that took his mom away as well.
Woo. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think the Earth King will listen. I don't know. Uh, hopefully he listens. <laughs> um, is he going to talk about the final? Yeah. nice that's what i said you know like he can do this without the after state hmm <laughs> Yeah. Nice. They're in. Okay. Oh my god. Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> My god, that can't... Ah... Oh no... Oh no! Yeah. Okay, nice. Come on. We've never seen Toph actually fight them before, did we? Yeah. Whoa, what the? How about no? Oh, great. Momo, run or fly, whatever. Oh, great. Uh, I knew this was going to happen. Oh, <laughs> poor Bosco. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> I... Yeah. I knew this was going to happen, but he has, she has her own plans. I told she was playing with fire. God damn this guy. They're neutral now. Boy, <sighs> great. <sighs> Yeah, you're right. Like, obviously, he's the only... No, not that. He's the only Fire Nation person that they knew personally. No, he... he I'm sure... He, Or will he heal it?
No, that's like something that uh, the scar. Something that actually reminds him of his. Yeah. Okay. Come on, Zuko. We have we had a conversation with. Oh boy. <sighs> yeah. Whoa! Oh no! Oh great, they're here again. How dare you? This How? Wow! <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Oh, my God. Uh. Oh boy. Azula's here. Oh boy. Oh. Oh. Oh, Zuko. Is that Zuko? Yes. Come on. Come on. No. Oh, no. What? Come on. Uh, oh boy, <laughs> Bosco. I hope he's trying to trick Azula something. I hope this is like a trick. He's making it seem as if he's fighting Ang, but I don't know. Yes. Yeah, it's one of the big wow. Like fire versus water. She's at a disadvantage kind of. There you go. Oh yes. Come on. Oh, come on, Zuko. 
<laughs> Damn. <laughs> Some interesting way to you. Whoa! <laughs> okay. Oh my god. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, yes, nice. <laughs> Just take the beer. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Yes. Oh no! Wait, who's that? Oh my god, the die leader here. What's happening? Isn't this supposed to be the final episode? Why is everything going this bad? Oh no! Okay, he really is going to do it, then. Okay. Ooh. Well, it's over. That's it, guys. Pack your bags. Oh no, wait, what? Oh no! He's not supposed to! Okay, I think he's just unconscious. What is happening? Isn't this a... Is this Iroh? Yes, come on! Oh my god! <laughs> Why did Zuko do that? I don't... <sighs> Zuko, come on! Like, even after so much... Why? Oh yeah, she, he needs this now. Okay, thank God. Uh... Okay, he's back. My god, why? Oh God, what was this? I thought the, oh my God. That's the end, I think. <sighs> this being the final episode, I thought they were kind of going to wrap everything up just like in the first uh, season, you know? 
like the final battle in uh, uh, the water tribe versus the fire tribe you know the way they kind of wrapped everything up and then like in the next season they started kind of like a new journey and i thought it was going to be something like that but oh my god yeah that was completely unexpected i was not expecting that at all like the thing that really surprised me was zuko like i understand what like you know like this was his choice but still i thought he would realize after even after all this but you know his past his like everything is still shackling him he wasn't able to give everything up like, you know the whole thing like you know like the the previous episode that the whole thing that happened where he let go um, appa then you know then you know like with his uncle's influence and even this episode after he uh, talked with uh, katara and everything i expected him to actually i don't know join them <sighs> but god why like i even up in, until the last scene i was thinking like was this like some kind of a um trick that he's doing to make azula think that yeah he's helping her but later on he's going to take the opportunity to defeat her or something but like i, I think that the, the main trigger that kind of you know like changes him each and every time is the whole nonsense of like your honor you know uh, your you know dad is going to accept you like this whole nonsense that happens you know each and every time azula comes in and tells zuko that you know what you'll get your honor back you'll go home you know dad will love you again and even even in the in if, if you can remember like i think that the first few episodes and one of them episodes azula came in and the same thing happened the same thing happened the same way he tricked him i don't know if this is a trick or not or if she really means it but still you know it's kind of tricking him in a way so like the same thing happened where like you know he's he at the same at, the, at that time as well obviously at that time he was a lot more what can i say not accepting of the fact that you know like he won't be able to get the avatar and like you know things like you know like he, he was a, a different type of a person that's why he got tricked into it but you know like at that time as well azula betrayed him at the end and now again the same thing and the same words that she used in the first few episodes she used the same words it's, it's not even different she just came in and she's like yeah you'll get your honor back you'll you know, you'll be able to go home father will forgive you the same thing that she said in the in the beginning few episodes and zuko's like yeah i'll i'll help you I really don't. I really was not expecting this at all. At least, like, after, like, so many things that happened with Zuko. Zuko, like, you know, like, we kind of saw that he's changing and everything. This was completely unexpected. I, I have no idea what to say. And I don't know how this is going to end. <sighs> oh, God. Like... He, like you know he, he tells katara i'm sorry and everything and then like like i like that really surprised me like and one scene he's saying that i'm sorry katara like you know we are kind of the same all that thing and then in the next scene he he turns on them just because azula came in and azula kind of said that yeah dad's going to forgive you oh my god i yeah and not even like that's not it as well iro is captured and i thought he was going to kind of protest against that you know but he said nothing when they captured iro like that's another thing that surprised me here completely like we saw how zuko lashed out so much when he felt like iro died in you know like in, in one of the previous episode where azula shot not shot but used the fire on iro you know that that scene and a lot of other scenes as well we've seen that how much he kind of cares about iro and you know how much he kind of uh gets angry whenever something happens but 
like we see here like Iro kind of gave up and then like captured Iro and she just said nothing about it that's another scene that really surprised me I'm like what happened in this matter of seconds that a, a person who was forgiving like I'm not asking forgiveness to for Katara from Katara and then like you know like kind of changing from Iro Iro taught him so many things how can one little scene of Azula coming in and telling him that yeah dad's going to forgive you come back and help me how can that change a person this much like this this kind of shows us how much of an influence the whole honor and the fire nation that his father kind of holds still on 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 like you know how much an in, in influence they have on Zuko still and he 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 is not he has not been able to you know like go past them and yeah like oh boy <laughs> you know what <laughs> kind of a funny thing i think uh, i think zuko needs to go and meet guru patik <laughs> he needs to do that he needs to let go you know he he's unable to do that my god zuko needs it more than ang in my opinion like obviously ang needs that for the after state but yeah, Zuko really needs that. <laughs> oh my god. Wow, that was an episode. Okay, so... <clears throat> okay, so it was really nice to actually see, like, you know, like, um, Aang talking with Iroh. We never saw that before. And, you know, like, Iroh is such a good influence. I think, like... You know, if, if Aang had, like, you know, more contact with Iro and Iro really became their ally, like, you know, Iro will be a huge influence on Aang and a very good influence. And, you know, like, how much he will be able to, uh, Aang will be able to mature. Like, Iro is trying to do that to Zuko. Iro is trying to, like, you know, impart his knowledge, his experience, everything. He's trying to make him a good person. But Zuko does not like you know like, like he kind of understands and then he goes back to the same uh you know starting point and obviously the main reason is because of his shackles that's binding him unless and until he's able to make a clean cut out of the fire nation you know like unless and until he he's he'll be you know if someday he's able to say that yeah you know what this whole war nonsense this dad dad's forgiveness my honor i don't care about this you know and the day he'll be able to say this, everything will be okay. But he's still not. He's still been shackled to that whole thing. And I, I don't know what's going to happen after this. Azura kind of told him that, yeah, father will forgive you and we go back. And I still don't know if this is a trick or not. You know, like in the first the first time she did that, this, that was a trick to actually capture him and get back to the Fire Nation. And I don't know if that's a trick or she really means it. I'll probably say that it's 60, 40, 60 in favor of this is an, a trick. I think it is a trick, by the way, because I doubt the Fire Nation is going to forgive Zuko. You know, he doesn't seem like a person like that. And I think Azula just took this opportunity and tricked Zuko to work with her just so that he can capture uh, Aang and get the Fire uh, and get the Earth Nation. But. Okay. And yeah, as I was saying, like, you know, uh, Iro would have been a great influence on Aang. And hopefully in the future, I don't know, maybe he'll ally with Aang. And I'm sure Zuko will also understand one day. And after that, I'm sure Zuko will probably join Aang. But when that will happen, I don't know. You know, like it's already the end of the second season. It's only the third season that's left. I think 20 more episodes so when is that even going to happen i'm kind of I'm thinking about it but let's wait for it and yeah okay that was that and then you know like uh oh and then uh, the whole thing with long feng my god like what a fool what a fool like ugh. like i knew that's what he was trying to do he was actually trying to double cross azula but oh, wow and it kind of is sad in a way that the Dai Li, like, they are also kind of, like, you know, trying of, kind of jumping ship now. 
you know the thing that Azula said that they'll decide after who who's going to sit on the throne then they're going to follow him there's no loyalty here like what is this like like you know like the whole thing that Dai the lie Daili said that whatever happens we're with you we're going to help you like what was that that was a lie like uh, you know um what is that long feng long feng I think up until the end, Longfell, even though he was a bad guy, he was like an antagonistic character, he was a nasty person, he still had his priorities right, you know, like he, he wanted the, you know, in his own twisted way, I guess, he wanted uh, the best for the Earth Kingdom, I think so at least, it is a twisted way, but it still is, but the thing that baffles me is the Dai, like the Dai Li, where like you know they had they did not had an, have an ounce of loyalty, even towards Long Feng. You know I understand that he they did not have any loyalty towards the king because the king was kind of cut off from this whole thing. You know uh, Long Feng was kind of the main king in a way. The king was just a puppet, so I kind of understand that. But they didn't even have any kind of loyalty towards Dai uh, Long Feng as well. They just jumped ship. And I guess in a way, uh, I don't know, probably they did that most probably because um, you can see this in another way if, if you take a positive, like, you know, if you try to look at this in a positive way. One thing you can say here is probably the Dai Li jumped ship because they did not want any further bloodshed. That could be it, you know. Okay, like I told you the negative thing that they betrayed him, you know, no, not a loins, ounce of loyalty. Now the positive uh, take on this would be this, that, you know, maybe they did not want any more further bloodshed. That's why they thought that, yeah, everything's over. Like we can resist here, but people will die. Our family who's in the, you know, like in the towns, they'll also get affected. So let's just surrender and let's jump ship. So if you take a look at it in a positive way, this can be it. So yeah, I don't know which one it, it is, but either of it, I guess. But yeah, and then the whole scene of Katara, Zuko, you know, like um, Iroh coming in, all that thing. And I kind of noticed one thing is everything was going well. Katara talking with her, uh, uh, him and everything, like, you know, like he asked for forgiveness and all. As soon as Aang comes in, Zuko changes completely. Zuko's like, I'm going to get, catch you. You know, so these are the few triggers that kind of, like, you know, like, you know, change him. Zuko, uh, the first trigger is obviously Aang. Seeing the avatar, I'm sure he gets reminded of his failures, you know, uh, his failure to get Aang back. So it kind of triggered, you know, the change. Also, uh, and uh, at the same time, the whole thing with the honor that, uh, you know, dad's going to forgive you. These are the triggers, you know, which can completely change him. And that's what happened. Like Ang comes in first, and then like you know comes in Azula, who says that yeah, this 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 is going to happen. You 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 take your time. I won't force you. Stuff like that. And yeah, he he just changes. And I don't know why why even like you know I wasn't able to make him change his mind. And then we get to see that battle. That was a fantastic battle, you know. Like, we see, we can see how much Aang and Katara has, like, you know, gotten stronger here. Like, and now one thing. Okay. Um, another thing that is, okay, I'm going to talk about that later. Okay, so one thing is here, Aang decides to go to his avatar state, you know, by letting go of Katara you know he kind of goes in that state but he's not able to go completely Azula shoots her him with the lightning and I guess at that time most probably he he would have died if Katara did not use that you know that thing so just probably a fatal wound or something you know like if, if he was left alone in that state he would have probably died i think so at least because you know the way we see him like you know like he was in the avatar state and he got struck and if he died he won't be able to come back his whole reincarnation would break you know so i'm guessing katara really did save his life with by using that and you know like he probably would have died if, like he did not die at that moment but he would have died i'm guessing if left alone 
So yeah, that's a, another good thing. Okay, so that means Aang wasn't able to go to the Avatar state and he wasn't able to let go of uh, Katara, you know, because it got interrupted midway. And yeah, as I said before as well, you know, I prefer this Aang. I don't want him to give up everything, you know. Like, that's not someone what I want. And, and the thing that Zoo, uh, Iroh said is very interesting, you know, he says that power and what did he say? Like overwhelming power and um, just a sec. Yeah, he says that you're very wise to choose happiness and love. Uh, okay, no, wait a minute. Perfection and power are overrated. Yeah, this thing, you know, um, it's very interesting, uh, like, you know, uh, not interesting, but very intelligent. Like, Iroh is full of, like, you know, wise experiences and words. So, yeah, this thing, this really sums up everything that I wanted to say. You know the perfection and power are overrated i wouldn't mind like you know like i like seeing ang try to you know perfect his own powers and even if he doesn't get into the avatar state i think i'll prefer this ang a lot more than when he gives away uh, you know his earthly attachments to katara i would not want that ang i wouldn't want to see that ang i would just want him to be as he is now and perfect you know his power and not go into the avatar state and fight and win i would want that ang so yeah like nicely like summarized uh, like he was able to summarize that in a really nice way uh, i do perfection and power are overrated so you did the right thing or the wise thing by choosing love and happiness over it so yeah okay so that and then So, okay, so the things that happened here, um, Toph learned uh, metal bending, uh, they were able to get away from here, the king is okay, you know, the king is fine, Bosco is fine, did they got Bosco as well, didn't they, yeah, um, uh, what else, Aang is really badly hurt, uh, Katara is safe, Saka is safe, you know, Momo is safe I think as well, yeah. The only bad things that happened here is the Earth Nation is gone, you know, under the Azula's rule. That happened. Another bad thing that happened is um, Zuko, you know, Zuko is being sweet talked by his sister. I don't know what's going to happen if after they go back to the Earth uh, Fire Nation, what Ozai will do. I don't think it's going to be good. It, it, he'll probably, yeah. So that's happening. Another thing is that Iro is captured. That's another bad thing and what else is there anything else uh, i think that that's it most probably yeah these are the bad things and the not good things but you know the things that happened like at least they're safe you know and everyone's at all at the same place so they'll be able to gain their power back again and fight so yeah so that's it guys that was this episode wow that was really something so this is the end of book two so from the next episode we'll be starting book three and i think that's the final season of avatar the last airbender so yeah like i really was surprised about zuko i don't know what's going to happen let's just wait for it so thank you guys for watching if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed Comment down below anything you want to say, anything you want to let me know. I'll definitely check them out. So, yeah. So, that's it, guys. So, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys next week with the completely, a completely new season of After The Last Airbender. We'll be starting season 3, episode 1 and 2 next week. So, until then, goodbye and have a nice day.